India is an old country, but a young nation. And like the young everywhere, we are impatient. I am young, and I too have a dream. I dream of an India strong, independent, self-reliant. These words by Rajiv Gandhi sum up the man, the Prime Minister, the leader, a deeply grounded man. Rajiv Ji's drive and inspiration came from the love he shared with his family, a love extended to the entire nation. During his tenure as India's youngest Prime Minister, Rajiv Gandhi proved he was a visionary who understood where the world was heading and steered India accordingly, so that one day she could lead the world like she is destined to. His dreams of turning India towards the computer age were so successful that today India boasts of its own Silicon Valley, with Indians leading tech giants across the world. And his insistence on a telecom revolution is why every Indian owns a mobile phone today. But his dreams were not just technological. He dreamt of a self-reliant India and of Indians with the power to control their destinies. To this end, he introduced the Panchayati Raj Bill and gave power to rural India to have a say in their day-to-day -day governance. Having been raised by a strong and independent woman and married to one later, Rajiv Ji was especially respectful towards the importance of having women representation in India's power structure and therefore introduced 33% reservation for women in panchayats and nagar palikas. Tuned to the needs of a young nation on the cusp of greatness, Rajiv Gandhi dedicated himself to ensuring that the greatness was met with peace and inclusion. The Punjab, Assam and Mizoram peace accords reflected his resolve for internal peace and unity. While rushing to the aid of countries like Maldives strengthened India's position as a military and diplomatic power in the world. His dedication to peace may have taken his life 29 years ago, but the light of his greatness can never be dimmed, as it effuses all that it has touched. And Rajiv Gandhi touched the lives of billions of Indians for ages to come. Thank you, Rajiv Ji.